Chris Aaron's here with a Trick Master Mr. Lock. This is a Callan. It's a quick set tight keyway. I'm not sure if that's the bidding or not because that key. Whoop, there it went. Don't want to work. So that is, there it goes. So the key's sticky and don't want to work sometimes. There it goes, that way. Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. So, let's see what's in this dude. Let's see what Mr. Trickmaster has done. Quick sets, we got a wide open keyway. Let's start the back of the lock. And pull forward. Four. Pin four is binding. There's pin two. Slight movement on the core on pin two. get some leverage on it so I can make something move there's a click on four under it. I think that's three. It failed. Or something happened there. Number one's wanting to do something. Feel a little talking off of it. on five or four there's a quick and a movement on three so work my way to the back again Off of five. Number five was hanging us up. Five's got something tricky in there. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, I'm gonna try not to lock it up since the key wants to act up a little bit. Beautifully. Get shim out of there and we'll see what Trick Master has done. Alright, number one is stuck in there. There we go. 
One was kind of stuck in the Bible. Two, one. All right, and it's a drunken spool, it looks like. There is a wafer hung in there. I have to pull that top cap and get it off. Number two is a serrated. Three is a kind of a funny spool looking serration thing going. There's a serration in four. Oh, that's nice. Nicely little serrated. Get up there. Okay. Now then, let's see if I can slip that off real quick. Just need to pull it back a little. I don't have to pull the cap all the way off. We just need number one. Hmm. There it is. Thought I heard it. There we go. And then we'll push that back on there. All right, let's take a look at the Bible. And looks to be all threaded in the Bible. We're going to put all these in here. We'll take a look at all the pins at rest. All right, so number one had a drunken spool way below the shear line in a counter milled plug. Number two is a serrated. Think focus right, there we go. Well below the shear line with a threaded chamber. Number three. Three is this funny kind of serrated spool here with uh, yep counter milling. Number four is serrated, heavily serrated, well below the shear line with a threaded chamber. And number five, one is giving me the trouble, is this. Funny little spool here with little notches in the middle. Whoop. It's very beautifully done. Let's see if we can focus on that. There we go. Very beautifully done. And it has a counter mill chamber as well. So let me dump out these key pins and we'll see what we got down here. There we go. Looks like some threading going on. Alright, and I'm called out the core. So let's zoom in here. And, okay, number one, we're looking at a kind of a T-pin or a narrowed end. Two is a serrated spool. Three, serration. Four, serration. And five is serrated key pins. Very nice. Uh, there's a drunken spool with the steel spring. Uh, these others all look like long copper springs. 
So that is what we have. And Mr. Lock, Trickmaster 30. Sent by Trickmaster 30. Thank you, Trickmaster, for this lock. I really appreciate it. It's a very fun peak. Uh, kind of dead feedback on them counter milling. Good job on that. So, uh, y'all, thanks for watching. Be legal, and God bless.